this channel and to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to upload your file to the Google Drive and share the link to the email instead of uploading an attachment when sending your email. In the last video, I taught you how to download your files to your local system or mobile devices. If you are here to see the video, you can click on the link below to, I mean, the comment section to uh, view the video. So, without wasting time, today we'll be going through how to upload your files to Google Drive, then share the link when sending email. So number one, we'll show you how to, I will show you how to upload the file to the drive, generate a shareable link, then send the link through the email. Also, I will show you how to adjust permissions. Do you want people to be able to only view the attachment or probably be able to download the attachment? So to do this, uh, kindly open up your Gmail your official email account so um, you open up the email then from there you can select the three uh, nine dots to open up your drive or alternatively click go to the drive URL which is drive.google.com drive.google.com or click on the nine dots and select Google Drive I will tell you ah, what major different. I recommend that you go through these nine dots, which is this, instead of typing the URL. When you type the URL, you are likely, you see that the email account here is different from what I have here and here. So what it means is if you go through the drive, the default email on your browser is what will be opened. The default email on your browser is what will be opened. And that might not be your official email address you're trying to upload to. So I recommend that you use the nine uh, button, okay? So if you use that, you'll be in the drive. You'll be in the drive. From the drive, if there is a, if you actually have a folder, let's say, you can also create if you do not have, let's say, a folder. Um, create new the new what new folder sorry new folder what's the name school attachment that's if it is necessary it's only for organization if it is necessary you can create a folder first open the folder then click on new what are you trying to upload is it a file or a complete folder or dry uh, google document sheets etc in this case, let's say it's a file upload. I click on file. I click on file. Go to where you have the file. Let me see document. Let's look for a document. Um, let's say, okay, final 2023-24 race semester timetable. So I have selected that particular document and it's now been uploaded. Also, it has been uploaded. So, so you can click here to locate the file, but obviously it is here for me to see now. The next step is now we've been able to upload. The next step is generating a link. I will do three and four together, generate link and set permission, adjust permission. So let's do like this, generate link and adjust permission. So, all right. You can right click on the document to give you options or you click on the three dots it will give you same option so the option we want to use is share remember we are sharing and you can directly copy the link so the link has been copied let me do that again option share instead of copying the link this time around i'll click on share it gives me more option and that is where we can set permission. Now you can directly add people you want them that you want to be able to access the document. For instance, I want only one of my guard to access. Let's say I want only the director of the ICT to access. I can just tag him. 
the LICT, then he will be the only one to be able to access this as an editor, okay, or maybe a commenter or maybe a viewer. Now, alternatively, if this is for everyone, you know, timetable should be for everyone. Click on general access there, restricted, change it to Lautech. It means only those who has a Lautech official email address, email account, will be able to view the document. If it is something for the general public, then instead of, so these are other options, they are all viewers, people from Lautech are all viewers, they, are, they can be editor and they can be commenter. Now, then instead of Lautech, I want it to be anyone. So when the link is changed to anyone, it means anyone on the internet with this link can probably view the document or comment on the document or edit the document. So be careful what role you give them here. Yeah. So you have three options. You can restrict it to only people you tag here. Alternatively, you can restrict it to only the university community or anyone with the link, depending on the sensitivity of the document or the information it contains. So this particular one, I'm sharing it to the public. I click on done and let's say share again, copy the link or from share. You can as well copy the link. Copy the link. The link has been copied. I now have to go back to my email, compose email, give it, okay, where am I sending it to? For instance, newsletter. In this case, let me send to DLICT. All right, subject. Subject is time. Okay, let's say tutorial. Tutorial. Time table. Drop other messages. Yes, sir. Blah, blah, blah. And include just paste the URL. Just paste the URL. Alternative way to make the URL cleaner, you can co copy it back. Click on link, insert link. What test? Load time table and paste the URL. So you can test the link if it's working or not. Just click on OK. You can set that download type table at the link embedded. So if you send this now, the receiver will receive it, and when it is being received, he can, can you see, he can access the file via the drive, via your own drive, not in his own drive. Now, we are, this is very important because when you send an image of one megabyte to 500,000 people, you are sending one megabyte times 500,000. But when you upload to your own drive, it's still one megabyte, but we cannot consume it. That is why this video is actually very important as we proceed with uh, activities to minimize the use of our, you know, web space, our email space. All right, so let me know if there's any question, comments, um, any other thing, yeah. So through the comment section below this video. Thank you so much for your patience.